Hello there, today I'm going to be showing you how to install Plex using Docker and Portainer. Now it's fairly simple to do, uh, but we will need obviously Portainer and Docker set up already. If you don't have that set up, I have a tutorial linked up here as well as in the description below. Anyway, let's go ahead and navigate to Linux server slash Plex on Docker Hub. This will also be linked below. So once we get here, let's scroll on down until we find the usage tab. Okay, so now we're here. Let's head over to Portainer, go local. Give it a moment, seems to be a bit slow. There we go. Containers, and then we're gonna add a container. Perfect. Okay, so now we're gonna call the container Plex. You can call it whatever you want. Plex is simple. Okay. And then first things that we're going to need to do is set our network mode to host. Um, it starts as bridge. We are going to just want host. If you wanted to do bridge for some reason, uh, it does have a guide down here on the ports you need to open. So to do that, you just need to publish a new network port for all of those. We're not going to do that because there's no reason. So then we are going to need to get our PUID and PGID. If you don't know what that is, you can SSH into your server. Alrighty, so then once you are SSH'd in, you can just type ID, hit enter, and then your UID and GID are what you need to populate that with. So we are going to head over to env. We're gonna add a couple environment variables. First, we're gonna need PUID minus 1000 then pgid, mine is also 1000, okay? And then we are going to need to set our version. We're gonna do Docker. Um, you could also, if you have the Plex pass, I have uh, documentation for that somewhere, right here. Plex pass, you can do latest, and then you can enter in your Plex pass. So, let's just go ahead and do, oops version and then docker and then we will need to do a plex claim so let's scroll down to find plex claim so let's go to plex.tv slash claim this is if you want it to be on an account if you just want to be able to go to the machine's ip ie like this 192.168.1 1.2.1.1, and then it would be 32400, I think. Then you wouldn't need to do this, but I like being able to access it on anywhere. So we're going to do this. Hit copy to clipboard. Let me just make sure that's still going. Good. And then we will go, what was it? Plex claim. And then we're going to paste it into here as Plex claim. Perfect. Okay, so then we are going to need to go and add a volume. So let's go ahead and do that. Map some additional volumes. We're gonna do bind mounts. Then we are SSH'd into our machine already. So let's go CD slash SRV slash Docker data. Now, if you don't have this folder created, you can put it wherever you want. I just have been following this for the rest of my tutorials and creating a folder for data. Um, I'm going to use this though. So let's do MK dir plex. Oops. Here, let's make this bigger so you guys can see it a little better. Um, and also let's just go sue for simplicity. <coughs> okay. So now we're going to MK dir plex. I'm such a rookie. Oh my God. Okay. Then we're just going to CD into plex. LS, we got nothing in here, so let's go ahead and create one for TV, one for movies, and one for music. Perfect, so now if we LS, we can see we have those three folders. Okay, and it looks like we'll also need a config folder. Let's go ahead and do that while we're here. Okay, so now we got those four folders. Uh, so let's go ahead and add all of those. And let's just copy this path here. So SRV slash Docker data slash Plex. And we're going to do that for all of these. So I'm going to bind again. 
and then we're going to have slash config slash TV slash movies and then slash music. Perfect. And then here we're just going to do slash config, I believe is what they wanted for that. Yep. Okay. So then we're going to do slash TV slash movies and then slash music. Now these ones don't really matter what you're going to, what you call them. Um, you can pretty much name them whatever you want. Okay. And before we forget, let's go ahead and copy this Linux server slash Plex and go ahead and do the tag latest. So colon latest like that. Perfect. And I think that is everything. Uh, except we will need to do the restart policy unless stopped should be it. So now let's go ahead and do deploy the container. Alrighty, perfect. So we've got that deployed. Let's make sure it is running. Once this loads, I'm not sure why it's being so slow today. Okay, perfect. So now we should just be able to go to 192.168.1.211 or the IP of your machine. And then we will enter the port 32400. And we can see something happened. Let's try and do HTTPS. There we go. So we'll just need to call that HTTPS or maybe not. I'm not quite sure. It might not have just been, it probably wasn't loaded yet. Okay. And then it's going to send us over to app.plex.tv just to sign us in. So go ahead and do that. And then it's going to ask you to grant authorization to sign into that device. I'm just going to go ahead and hit sign in. Perfect. Alrighty. So now it's just going to walk us through a basic little setup. Um, we're going to leave it with Docker tutorial. And if you want it to be accessible outside of your home, leave that ticked. Otherwise don't. And then for our media library, we're just going to hit add library, go movies, next, browse your media folder, and then find the directory we called movies. Perfect. Okay. And then go ahead and do another one. Let's do TV shows, browse your media folder, TV. And if you had like two hard drives and you wanted to mount one at TV and one at TV two or something, you could do that. So you could add TV again, for example. Or TV2. Um, and we're also going to do music. Perfect. Browse for media folder. Music. Add. Then we're just add to library. Next. And then we're going to hit done. Okay. And we're going to untick all this stuff because no one uses Plex for that shit. Oh, yeah. Alrighty. So now we have our movies, music, and TV added. So that is pretty much it. <laughs> um, all you'd have to do now is add files to the directories we created. So movies, music, and TV. And then you would go ahead and scan library files. And basically that's it from there. Um, any further would be a tutorial on using Plex. If this helped you, consider liking and subscribing. If you have any future suggestions for videos, be sure to comment those below. And as always, I hope you learned something. Thank you for watching and goodbye.